Alright folks, so what I wanted to do is a quick video talking here a little bit about bushcraft and what it is and how it relates to preparedness or survival. So uh, let's do this. Everybody go grab yourself a cold one, get yourself a nice drink, come on back and then uh, we'll have a little talk about bushcraft. Cheers. Alright, hopefully everybody made it back and uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about bushcraft and then how people like me, you know, regular Joes, uh, become exposed to bushcraft over time. And uh, I'm not a bushcrafter, I'm not a bushcraft expert. I'm just a guy who likes to make videos for YouTube and talk a little bit about bushcraft on the internet. Uh, I am somewhat of a prepping enthusiast, I've said that in some other videos, and uh, I have an interest in general survival in the event that something bad happens, you know, everybody wants to put together some sort of survival plan or strategy for themselves, their family, and their friends. And so when you do that, uh, you look at, survival's a broad field, right? And so people say, oh, I got me a bug out bag and I'm heading for the hills, son, that's what I'm going to do. Well, I think you need to know what to do when you get there. And I'm not saying that's what I'm planning on doing, but you see that. You see a lot of people making videos about that. And so what do you do when you get into the woods? Well, you got to probably build a fire, right? You probably need to build a shelter. You probably need to cook some food. You probably need to procure water. There's a you got to set up a camp. There, there's a bunch of things that people do. And, uh, you know, I was a Boy Scout, and you learn this stuff in Boy Scouts, and I called it scouting. I didn't call it bushcraft. Um, and as I got older, you know, when I was in college and stuff, my friends and I, we would get beer and we would go in the woods and we would drink beer and we, we didn't call that bushcraft. We called that camping. Um, but now when you go into, uh, YouTube or the interweb or whatever, and, and you start to say, well, let me, let me figure out the best way to make a fire. Let me figure out the best way to build a shelter. Let me figure out the best way to maybe make clothes or gather natural resources. And you see all these people doing that and making videos and they call it bushcraft. And, uh, you know, I guess it's bushcraft. I don't know. Uh, you see these guys that make these bushcraft videos, and they sit around drinking pine needle tea, uh, dressed up like Robin Hood. Uh, they're trying to make a fire with one match and, um, you know, <laughs> filter water through moss and stuff. And I think it's all good and it's, and it's great techniques. But I think it differs a little bit from survival in that, to me, bushcraft is a hobby. You know, I'm sure some people will be like, it's a lifestyle. It's a choice. Um, you know, that kind of thing. And, and I guess that makes sense. But, you know, when I'm making a fire, you know, I try to light it with one match because I don't want to waste matches. I don't, I don't do that because it's like a, a bushcraft challenge. And, uh, you know, another thing is you'll see people cooking meals in the woods. And, you know, you can really tell the difference between somebody who is a, an accomplished bushcrafter and, you know, they go in the woods and maybe they catch a squirrel and they forage for uh, vegetables and fruits and then they purify water or drink tea, tree sap or something like that and, and make a meal. But then you have these other videos where these guys go, you know, into the woods and they're like, I'm making me a bushcraft breakfast, son. And, uh, you know, they heat up some ramen noodles and uh, maybe fry an egg on a rock or something. And, and, and it, it, to me, it just doesn't, it's not the same. It, you know, it's, I don't really know if that's, if that's honing a skill or not. Um, so that being said, the, the other thing is, is that, you know, survivalism, when, when, I think it's more about resource conservation, not the bushcraft's not, but uh, it's about doing whatever you need to do until you can exact rescue or get to a safer place than where you were before you got to where you are. And uh, like I said, bushcraft seems like it's a little bit more of a hobby, and I, I think that there's some overlap, and I think that there's some transferable skills uh, between the two, you know, a lot of these folks that, you know, survivalist channels and stuff like that, you know, they, they kind of take a little bit different end of the spectrum where they got, you know, I got a full plate carrier vest system on and I got night vision on my AR-15 and I got a Joe Teddy knife uh, where the bushcraft seems to be more, not that both don't require skills, but seems to be more uh, skill-based and knowledge-based for your region or your locale. Right, like if you go into the woods as a survivalist and you got a bag full of napalm, you're going to get a fire regardless of where you are. When you look at the bushcraft, it's like, hey, I need to pick this particular tinder fungus and I need to use this particular type of sapling and I need to use this particular type of 
whatever kind of natural fire tinder you're going to you're going to put together when you rub your sticks together. So they're a little bit different, but they're kind of the same in that the goals and objectives uh or you know for fire making for example are the same. You want to fire, right? It's, it's just it's the journey that you take to get there. Uh survival seems to be a little bit more brute force where bushcraft seems to be a little more I guess I guess crafty is the uh is the right way to say it. And when you watch videos, right? Go go to YouTube and search for, you know, bushcraft kit, and then do a search for survival kit, and you see a lot of things where they're completely different, right? Like the bushcraft kit might have natural herbs and spices in it, for example, where, like I said before, the survivalist kit's got, you know, he's got a nine millimeter in there. So they're, you know, they're a little bit different, but there is overlap, right? Because you'll see things like fire starting, you'll see things like water purification, you'll see things like shelter building, but I think the approach of it is just a little bit different. But the uh, the bushcraft phenomenon has really changed everything, and now you know everybody's a bushcrafter, and it's it's kind of strange because like you know you used to see people who would be doing, hey, this is my EDC knife, this is my general knife, and you know that kind of translates into well, EDC is a form of preparedness, right? It's daily preparedness, and then people start saying, well, maybe I need to get a survival knife. To now I need to get a, a bushcraft knife, and it, you see a lot of knife reviews these days, and uh, <laughs> you know every knife is out in the woods being like, well, I can peel tree bark. And make my tree bark porridge, and then I can uh, feather stick, and I can get my fire started. And it just really seems that bushcraft has really consumed a lot of that preparedness and that uh, survivalist space, at least the space that I'm exposed to. So anyhow, I'd like to hear some different opinions, uh, any ideas or thoughts on the matter. You know, please post below, and uh, we can continue the conversation. Anyhow, that's it. Just wanted to do a quick video. Thanks, everybody.